<laughs> if the Yeti guys, well, the the things those guys have gone through mm-hmm. to get their hands on the King Crab Orange merchandise, yeah. And I'm just here, just a New Yorker higher than a pig on shit, uh-huh. just fucking buying this stuff, just drinking out of it. This yeah. is my drinking. Yeah. This is not. This isn't part of the the private collection at home. Yeah. For the other men who survived testicular cancer and now <laughs> just collect. <laughs> This is my. This is why I bring this around. I ding it up. <laughs> Covered in dead shit. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care because I can always go down the street and buy another one. Right. And you can't if you're living with your fucking GI Bill money in fucking Louisville. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. <laughs> I recently saw. Well, I guess I haven't seen anything. I saw oh. Challengers and Civil War. I went to go see both of those. How were they? Both good. I like both of them. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I rewatched uh, the Mask so of Zorro. I wanted to reshoot the sauna scene from Challengers. Okay. Did you see Challengers? No. There's a sauna. It's about two guys. That but what are, happens? The two guys that are gay. Well, they're not gay necessarily, but they but grew they up kiss. together in boarding school playing tennis. Okay. And then a woman comes between them, mm-hmm. and they develop a rivalry, a tennis rivalry, but it's also this kind of love triangle sort of thing. Okay. And uh, the the less dominant of the two, the one that's kind of like a slow burn kind of guy mm-hmm. who like the first guy he fucked, the first guy's fucking the girl mm-hmm. and he's like not caring about her. And the other guy steals the girl from him. Mm-hmm. And then the, the guy who steals the girl in a slow kind of approach, he eventually becomes this great tennis star. Whereas the first guy is just sort of like a, a layabout bum that yeah. never really, you know, made it to. And so they have to play a match. I don't know how tennis works, but yeah. apparently the best guys in the world of tennis just still have to play like, like, like the new Rochelle tennis tournament, I guess. Right, right. So that's what happens, and they meet up in the finals. So okay. the whole movie, their backstory is intercut with them playing this this tennis match. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna make that move with my brother, but a piece of cheesecake comes between us. Oh, okay. So this you is start what I mean. fighting You're over the cheesecake. Into the fat identity. That's barely yeah. a joke. Yeah. That's barely a joke. You're just like, yeah, you wait all that time and be like, you know, I'll make the same movie, but it's a, <laughs> it's a candy bar. <laughs> me, and my, me and my fat brother are fighting over a piece of Reese's fucking cups. Anyways, sorry. There's a scene That's where... Right. I do feel like I'm losing weight, though. Yeah, you do actually look thinner. Thanks. And I say, I'll say this. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back to society. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so there's a scene where uh, one of the not gay men goes into the sauna and the other guy's all sweaty and he's waiting there. Mm-hmm. And the, f- the old first guy, I guess he's, he's got a bigger cock than the other guy. So okay. they don't show you his penis. They show you his ass and everything else. Mm-hmm. And he's like fucking like sauntering up to the other guy. He's like, you ready for the match tomorrow? You know, it's very Tom of Finland kind of yeah, yeah. This homoerotic scene. Nice. But I want to reshoot it, and he just comes in. He's like, dude, is that the King Crab Orange 46-ounce <laughs> Yeti Rambler? Uh-huh. And then it's me, and I go, you goddamn right it is. Nice. And it's me in the sauna at Lifetime. Yeah. Great. Yeah, with the nicest. Anyways, ridge.com slash T-A-F-S.